We are going to finish the note-taking app based on Room Database. Hello guys, my name is Abbas and I'm going to continue with the complete Android developer course and the Android Jetpack course. Welcome to Master Coding channel. Please subscribe below if this is your first time and hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads and daily uploads. We are here to make new tutorials based on your request. So feel free to comment below if you have any questions or you want us to make new tutorials or just say thanks below in the comments. So let's begin making and designing and running our final app. But before we dive in Android Studio, you can download master Android app from Play Store and learn android courses we have 300 and we are updating every day and the flutter course kotlin course java course and you can take the quiz and the video tutorials see you guys in android studio so back to android studio we have done by uh, previously i will rename the main activity as note list activity since it will display all the notes created in the database so we go to refractor rename and i will change it to note list activity and click refractor and here we go we open it and we see that that there is the default code the having uh, extending the app compact okay i will implement start by implementing the notes adapter and on item or a note item click listen i will click enter uh, alt plus enter and i will implement the methods i click ok and here we solve the error. This is the first step. The second step, we are going to create the variables and the widgets. So we start by private text view text view message. Second, I will create a recycler view. I will call it recycler view. And I, next step, we, we are going to edit these, uh, these widgets in our layout, importing the, the, the package and private note database, the database that we have created before, previous videos, and a private list and note okay notes click insert and private note adapter notes adapter and private and position okay these are the variables what that we are going to use now I will jump the main activity uh, layout we go down in the activity main and this is our the, our code so I will click on the view and I'm going to remove this text of view and I will go also in the same way to add the layouts needed or the uh, the sections needed in our layouts so first of all i will create a copy and the, and paste the code of the linear layout that we are uh, going to use display or having the recycler view so this is the first linear layout this is the linear layout we are having the styles i will uh, we are going to uh, edit that styles in next couple of minutes so the linear layout this is the linear layout having the app bar layout 
and the app compat toolbar finishing here the toolbar the app uh, bar layout and having the recycler view so pause the video and paste the code in your lay uh, in the, uh, your android studio now i will create the include layout equal i will create a new layout and include it layout underscore uh, or uh, or slash content content underscore main this is we are going to create now and last thing android id id include okay this is good and finally i'm going to create the floating action bar i will copy it in this way i can remove this you can put 16 dp and everything is good the hard coded okay now let's move to create the content main layout i will create click here alt plus insert alt plus enter and create resource called this root element main layout here we go we have created the android uh, content main uh, layout now i will copy and paste also the text view that we are going to display so text view and please insert notes i click here l plus insert and we have created added the following xml and s okay everything is good and we have some properties that we are going to to add like app behavior and and we are going to add the context context tools the context and the node list activity okay everything is good and show in layout and the main activity layout slash activity for the the, the uh, note list activity okay activity of the main and i will show you it, it here okay everything is good now let's move and uh, see the layout here we go and the the content i will remove the theme we see okay the fab i see the fab because we are adding this is not an android fab it is the android material floating action okay i will add the constraint here and add the constraint here okay everything is good now let's see the error in a layout missing attributes okay we can because it is the constraint okay everything is working now 
Now, let's go back to our codes and see that how Android Studio will work and configure adding the uh, uh, notes from our database. I will create the methods, methods here. We are going to uh, initialize the value, the views, initialize, initialize views, method, and we are going to display list method. Okay, here we go. We are going to create the, the use to methods. Okay. Let's check. Uh, we need to fill the note click uh, method, but first of all, we, we let's create these two methods and we will go back to our uh, click method. Private void display list method not taking any parameter arguments and node database we are going to instantiate the node database database dot get instance node list activity dot this and new retrieve task We are going to create a retrieve task and retrieve task. Yes, I, I have created good and in this and dot execute. Okay, till now we are creating everything is good and we are going to create the retrieve task. You can create a new task here or you can uh, add it in the, uh, the main layout or main sorry the main uh, the note activity I will delete this and add the class uh, called inner class so I will go to create private static class retrieve Retrieve task. Okay, so this is this is here. And extending the async task, passing void. Void and passing list of notes. Okay. L plus insert and do background. We need to add this. Now I'm going to create the variables again in this class private week we see the week reference before videos and note list activity and activity week reference or activity let's say a reference okay I will create now the only retain reference so the only retain a weak reference to the activity retrieve task equal or retrieve task note list activity context and activity reference equal to new week reference 
and passing the context. Okay, everything now is working fine. Now let's create another list protected. We are going, okay, sorry, we have created here the on background, do, do in background. This is the list, it's very good. Return, returning statement. So we are going to check if activity reference dot get does not equal to null, does not equal to null, we are going to return the activity reference dot get node database dot get node dot get nodes. So if the reference is not empty or not null, we are going to retrieve the nodes. If or else return null. So we will return null if there is no notes. Okay, everything till now is well clear as I think. Now, we will create another uh, method that we have seen before it is called the post execute so we are going to override alt plus insert override methods and we go to post execute we will pass the nodes and we will remove the super and if nodes if nodes does not equal to null and notes dot get or size occur uh, uh, over over zero or above zero we are going to create activity reference dot get dot notes dot clear activity reference dot get dot notes dot add all so what we are go, uh, going to do if the nodes post execute when the execution of the async task have finished go and get the reference if this notes are does not equal to null and this node size does not uh, equal or above zero Go and clear the, the reference, then add the reference, all the nodes inside it. So, we will hide the empty te uh, text view that we have created before. So, activity reference dot get dot text view message dot set visibility this way we uh, we hide the um, the components or the widgets inside your studio or inside the android system notes after dot notify data set data change data set changed okay everything's working fine we still have to initialize the views and add the activity click and add on activity results now so we will stop here uh, because we need to uh, partition the view the video into two parts so uh, and the next parts we are a part we are going to finish the the main activity or the note list activity and uh, we will pull over and run the app thank you guys i hope you understand everything if you have any questions please comment it below or uh, on our youtube channel uh, and uh, rate us five stars on udemy the complete android developer course and uh, um, uh, see you next videos